Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dad, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to a new series. Um, I've kind of I've kind of finished the Azure Arc series. Um, I've kind of done as much as I could as far as the, the sort of, I've done as much as I wanted to do as far as the integrations go and the demos go. I'll be honest with you, I wanted something a bit fresh because I felt like um, I, there was only a certain amount of demos I could really do, integrated VMware and, you know, and, and kind of, did some management around virtual machines and talked about data services and Kubernetes. But I was kind of limited to what I could do. And I've been wanting to do some things around architecture for a while. So I've been I've been doing architecture since probably my Concord days, if I'm honest, um, where, where I kind of, um, you know, towards the last few years of Concord, I was doing more sort of solutions architecture. And then that continued when I went to Net Company. Um, and obviously now at Kubernetes, that's when I was at Stable as well, doing a lot of architecture. Um, so I thought it'd be quite interesting to, to talk about and do some um, practical elements around architecture, specifically the cloud adoption framework. Now, um, I'm kind of going to explain what the cloud is. It's, it's essentially a, a framework uh, focused around cloud, as it probably says in the name, but it's not just around um, adopting, but there's also a lot of sort of planning involved. Um, it's not It's not a practical sort of topic, really, but... I want to kind of talk about and show some of the content you really need to think about. Um, and that's going to include, you know, it's not just all drawings and, you know, designing. There's a lot of, there's a lot of planning when it comes to, to governance. And when I, or when I've been speaking to customers, especially in say the last five years, this is an area when it comes to governance and identity, where a lot of organizations just don't put in the planning all the time. Um, they focus all on the sort of services they're going to use, PaaS, IaaS, designing and planning those, and they, they, they forget all the sort of, you know, things like naming convention, um, tagging convention, and what you're going to, you know, your tagging strategy, it's looking at sort of identity and, you know, the Entre and RBAC, and Azure RBAC and things like that. So we're going to I'm going to focus this series more on Microsoft Cloud and Azure Cloud because that's kind of where my area focuses. Um, but again, I'm going to start off by talking about governance and then work into identity and then finish off with kind of security as well. I will be trying to do demos where I can, but be a lot of show and tell and talking about certain aspects. And, and what we really or you really need to do, you think about and, and give you examples of, of kind of um, areas within, you know, naming convention, how to plan your naming convention, what you can look at, some examples, same with, you know, tagging, same with identity, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, look, the, the end goal is, so if I just share something, the end goal is by the end of the, the discussion or the end of this series, we want to be looking at something like this. Now, this is something I downloaded from Microsoft Learn. This is, this is a full hub and spoke architecture, right? So I want to get, you know, this, this is from Microsoft Learn. I, I downloaded this. And I want to be able to, to kind of go through and, and design and, you know, we're going to together with you guys, this by the end of this series, you know, we'll have put something together and you'll understand what each of these aspects are. You'll understand the management group and subscription organizations. You'll understand the identity and access management, the security, the networking as well, hub and spoke network and all this sort of stuff. And this is all within the sort of cloud adoption framework. Um, so that's kind of what I want to talk about, what I want to start off by doing. We are going to start off by, by kind of a bit of an introduction into Cloud Adoption Framework, and then from there we'll uh, kind of move on into talking about all these different areas I want to focus on. So look, what this isn't going to be, I'm not going to have many slides. If I'm not having any slides, I'm not prepared any slides. I want to kind of show and tell and do some demos at some point. Um, so I've been doing some practical exercises to kind of show what I'm talking about. Look, now I just want to kind of do a bit of an introduction into the Cloud Option Framework. So specifically the Microsoft Cloud Option Framework. So, so what is it, right? For those who don't know what it is, it, I don't expect everybody to know, right? And, and I learned this at some stage in my career as well. So, you know, if you don't know, um, the Microsoft Cloud Option Framework is, is for Azure. And it's sort of a comprehensive guide um, and it's, it's there to, it's designed to help you as, a, as an architect or your organization to successfully adopt cloud technologies. So it provides a structured approach um, to achieving your sort of organizational uh, company business goals. Um, it does that by, you know, for Azure, by enabling sort of faster, more cost effective cloud adoption. Like I said, my own experience of this is when, when you're speaking to customers who adopted cloud and they're in Azure, you know, I've even seen customers just literally lifting and shifting their on-premises into cloud and then leaving it and optimizing it, not worrying about, you know, structure, governance, anything like that. And it's it's painful 
if this sort of stuff comes to you after the fact and then maybe two years down the line you realize wow we're paying like 10 times what you know what we thought we would it's because you're not governing your you're not you're not governing you're not using the proper networking you're not using proper security so those are all sort of stuff i kind of thought you know what i want to talk about those so i suppose the next question probably to, to discuss is why should you use the cloud option framework so as i mentioned it's going to offer proven sort of guides this is obviously proven guidance um, to support sort of informed decision making um, uh, you know, and there's different stages of the cloud journey. So it's going to inform decisions at every stage of that cloud journey, the planning, the designing, the implementation, you know, the, the aftercare, all that sort of stuff. You know, whether you are planning, you know, even when you're doing the migration, when you're trying to optimize, the cloud option framework is going to provide that sort of clear roadmap tailored to your organizational needs. So this series isn't aimed at kind of going through that whole process, you know, defining your strategy, planning that adoption. I'm not going to go into that much detail. I really want to look at areas where I feel, in my experience, organisations don't give enough time and care to. Like I said, naming strategy is what I always see. Tagging strategy. And that, you know, your tagging strategy really defines your Azure policy as well. So I'll look into a bit of the Azure policy, that sort of level. I'll look into Hub and Spawn networking, what that is, how to design it. I want to look into um sort of security as well so you know once you've got that hub and spoke being able to secure it and and which way your traffic should flow and you know um even uh, you know i'm gonna my plan is to deploy an azure firewall and show you the benefits of that so you know like i said the, the diagram that i showed earlier um which was i'll show it again quickly this one this is this is a this is a fully blown architecture right this is like fully blown you know calf hub and spoke architecture it's got all different subscriptions and how do we get to this stage you know i want to i want to explain that and, how, and what all these things mean why are they all separated why do we have a separate identity area there what's what's the manager group and why are they why is there such a structure what does this structure mean you know my like i said my own sort of um experience around this is that there's, there's a lack of knowledge and a lack of i wouldn't say understanding but a lack of importance given to these things um, so that's the plan for this series, right? Um, the, 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 this is just a bit of an introduction. The next first episode, I want to really focus on naming convention. And that's sort of, you know, it's a bit of planning, really. Um, if so, after that, I'd like to talk a bit about tagging. And then we'll just take it on from there. So hopefully uh, you will enjoy this series. You know, drop, drop me a comment. Um, I'll put some links in the description around sort of the... the some of the documentation around Azure and Microsoft Cloud Option Framework so you get more details about it. Like I said, I'm not going into deep, deep detail about all the like, planning, migration, blah, blah, blah. I'm just sticking to some areas that I feel, within my experience, organizations don't give enough time to. Um, so again, I've, I was lucky enough uh, last week to hit 50, 50K subscribers. So thank you very much, everybody, for supporting me. My, my target's now um, 100K, right? I'd be, it'd be remiss of me not to target 100K. So I'm going to be um, I'm going to be trying some different technologies as well. So I'm actually going to be as, as some, in some videos. I've got this little drawing tablet. So I want to try integrate this in some of my videos, and you know later on in this series, do some actual drawings with this. Kind of learn how to use it at the moment. Um, I'm trying some little different things with AI as well. So again, I'm going to hopefully share all this content after this series while I'm kind of using it and creating, you know, learning it myself at the moment. Um, so yeah, make sure you subscribe for those who are looking for Microsoft exam topics. So I've, I've, as, as if you follow me, you know, I've got lots of different Microsoft exam topics. I've got from fundamentals to associate to expert level, AZ900, MS900, all that sort of stuff, AZ140. Uh, I've got some security ones in there as well. I'll put the link in to become a member. If you're a member, level one membership gets you the um, fundamentals. Level two membership gets you associate. Level three membership gets you expert, associate, and you know, and, and a whole lot. Um, so make sure you're a member if you if you take any exams, and you can you can get some content from me on there. So thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.